So we're on the map Crash Zone Alpha and I'm in the Des Moines. And as you can see, we have one sub aside and no carriers. Uh, four battleships aside, four, five cruisers aside. Oh, it's going to be a cruiser game, is it? Looks that way. Uh, a couple of destroyers aside, and of course, as I mentioned, previous sub aside. Okay. <coughs> Interesting map, this one. I don't particularly care much for this flank, if I'm honest. Um, I prefer the other side, if, I, if I'm honest, the other, the other flank, when we're this side of the map. But down at, say, I3, I4, or J3, there's some nice islands down there that are just great for parking a cruiser like the Des Moines behind, uh, where you can get nice and close to the cap and radar at your leisure. But let's give it a try. Let's uh, see what we can get out of her. Our Benson's going for the cap, the brave fellow. And I'll hopefully be providing him with some cover. Covering fire for the Benson. I've got a Kerr first with me and a Gudun Liu, or Golden Lion. Um... Is that the Mizashi following up? Yeah, it looks that way. Okay. But it looks like he's taking a more central position. Now, my biggest concern here is getting outnumbered. Uh, so it's going to be important for the Benson to spot as many ships as possible. So I've got a good idea of what is exactly going on uh, and react accordingly. Nothing worse than getting caught in an outnumbered situation and being focused down. So they've got a Zhao and a Stalingrad. A Shishkashima. There's two Stalingrads coming our way. Okay, that's interesting. Might as well be two battleships, right? I mean, a Stalingrad is practically a battleship. Uh, the Republic is uh, mirroring our Musashi. Okay, so already they've matched our numbers, but we haven't spotted any DDs yet. Okay. Hoping to get to the next island, if I can, without getting lit. That's an awful lot of ships. And I'm on point. <laughs> Kerr first is hiding behind me, along with our golden lion. Hmm. And I'm lit. Okay, let's see what's out there. Whatever it was, it's moved away. Okay. Aha, Kagaroo. Just moving off cap now. So I forced him off cap with the radar, but of course I couldn't do much about it. Another reason why I don't particularly like this side of the map, I can't get that close to the cap with my radar. But you play the hand you dealt, right? You play the hand you dealt. Even if it's a bum hand like this one. <laughs> Two Stalingrads. God. Shishkashima. Out there, I guess. And I'm lit and instantly I'm priority target. Look at that. Yep, they're all looking at me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here comes the pain. Quarter of a million potential damage just flew my way. And what's going on here? Napoli has decided to charge a wild card. The Napoli has decided to charge straight down between the two caps. He's at uh, E7 if you want to see what I'm talking about. There he is. That's going to be a problem. That needs dealing with because he can light me. I'm trying to use this island as cover. 
and that colossal fleet above me could absolutely murder me if I don't do something about the Napoli. So let's see if we can get him down quickly. Yeah, potential damage is already past half a million, where it's 614,000. He's angled, so I've had to switch to HE. It's a tough ship to take down the Napoli. And I'm being torpedoed, probably. I'm guessing those are Kagaru torps. Judging by the huge chunk of damage my Golden Lion friend here just took, that was definitely a Kagaru torp, a Japanese torp. So the torp boat is causing us concerns. He's smoked up and shooting at us. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. Ow. That hurt. I think he said it held me. Okay, I got two fires running and I'm over a million potential. Let's get those fires out. Let's see if I can get to the, uh, the next island. I don't know why the Golden Lion is staying back there. We're going to get pushed out of this spot. It's getting tense. Okay, I'm down to 13k health and I've had over a million potential thrown at me. Time to go. At least we dealt with the Napoli, eh? That was something. At least the team got the Napoli out of the equation, but look at this. Okay, I'm just chucking the radar on just in case the Kagaru got a bit cocky and followed us. But no, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Surprises me that. I was pretty convinced he was dropping torps down the nine line. Oh well. Win some, lose some. Okay, so... Lepanto. Half their team are here, aren't they? At least half the enemy team is here. And we've got, what, four ships in the area at the moment? Our boys down south have captured A, which is great. But, uh... We might not be here much longer. Got fire on the Lepanto. Oh, he's moving away. Okay. Turning out and moving away. Oh god. Zao. Okay, we've got Zhao coming in. And they're starting to push the Nine Line. I've, like I said, I feel sorry for the Golden Lion. Not a lot we can do about that. My Kerr first friend is. Had the living daylights beaten out of him. And my potential now is up to a million and a half almost. 1,443,000. There you go. The Kerr first is down as Zhao took him out. And there are more torpedoes raining down the Nine Line. The Stalingrads are now pushing into sea. That's a lot of torpedoes. Alright. There's the Zhao. I am going to try and decap them and hold this position for as long as I can. I can see the Ferdigros and the Republic at G6 and F6 are thinking about heading our way to reinforce. Mizashi is moving in too, so... And we do have a points and cap advantage at the moment, but that can all change. And I'm sure it will. I'm going to put some more fire down on this now. Healing up. Hmm, maybe I should go dark. Maybe I should go dark. I'm over a million and a half. Over a million and a half on the uh, damage uh, potential there. Potential damage received, 1,557,835. That's insane. Okay. Nah, maybe I won't. Nah, I'm not going to go dark. Let's let's try and take this guy out. Let's try and take this guy out. He's moving. He's He's got his guns focused on the golden lion, and he... There's a Stalingrad. He's firing on me. Great. Sounds low. Golden Lion took a chunk. Okay. There's the Kagaroo. 
There goes the Zhao. All right, all right. We're holding just about. Just about holding on. But they do have uh, a ship advantage at the moment. There's the Kangaroo. Got some shots in on him. Got a fire going. Ah. And the Republic and Imazashi have come to the rescue. Oh, damage potential. Potential damage received has gone up to 1,784,635. I think that's the most I've ever tanked in a Des Moines, if I'm brutally honest. I, I, without sinking, that is. <laughs> Something like that. This has been incredible. Having to hold this flank has been just nail-biting. See if we can get our Stalingrad down. Yeah, yeah, let's get the Stalingrad. I'm a little concerned. Still, nothing on priority target, so let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Let's get him. Let's get him. Okay. Alright. And he's down. Republic got him. Good. 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 There's actually Republic to the rescue. Alright. Pressure's off now, so uh, I can sit back, relax, and farm the living daylights out of this Shishkashima. <laughs> what a game. 81k spotting as well, spotting damage there. That's, that's crazy. That's just crazy. I'm in a cruiser, I'm not in a destroyer. <laughs> Getting some good hits in. And the Republic got the Shishkashima. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Guess I better turn this boat around and go look for the kangaroo. I'm lit. Hmm. He's, he's close, isn't he? He's not gone far. If I'm lit, he must be around here somewhere. I bet he's crept down the flank behind the uh, Benson. I bet he's close. As soon as I get lit again, I'm going to... There he is. There he is. Now he's further up than I thought. Okay. We can put some shells on him. Try and, try and knock him over. Here we go. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Is he grounding? What's he doing? He's smoked up. Oh, what a game. What a game. That was tense. You see, you have to play the hand you dealt, peeps. Dreadnought. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course I got Dreadnought. Uh, what a match. Well done, Benson, for staying with us till the end. Good job, mate. Good job. Solid, solid match. Wow. Whew, that was a tough one. Uh, what's Johnny Cash say? They like to see you sweat. That was sweaty. <laughs> oh, good game. Anyway, my name is Lone Gun and this has been the Des Moines. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the build I was running there. Okay, so if we go into equipment. I had main armors modification 1 in slot 1. Surveillance radar modification 1 in slot 2. Aiming system modification 1 in slot 3. Propulsion modification 1 in slot 4. Then Concealment System Modification 1 in Slot 5. And I was running the Legendary Mod. Yes, the Legendary Mod in Slot 6. Um, I love it. I think it's great. It turns the ship into a very mobile gun platform. And also gives you uh, the, the ability to make yourself very hard to hit by accelerating and decelerating a little faster than people think you can. Um... Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, I, th I can recommend the Legendary mod on this ship. I think it's great. As for the build, well, hmm. Pretty much a standard build for this ship, but except for one change. I've been experimenting with this. AA Defense and ASW Expert. Normally speaking, with this build, you take this one. Gun Feeder. Then you take Priority Target. Superintendent. Sealman Expert. Then you go to Adrenaline Rush. Okay, so that's your first four, five even. Can't count today, funny. <laughs> Six would be Survivability Expert. And your seventh pick would be Top Grade Gunner. However, with the advent of carriers being everywhere at the moment, I have switched from Top Grade Gunner to AA Defense and ASW Expert, which arguably gives me a little bit more punch with my AA defense but more importantly gets my heal back uh, much much faster when I fire my AA guns it increases the uh, or decreases the reload time of my consumables by 50% I also get my radar back up quicker uh, quite useful quite useful I don't know it's just a personal choice um, if you want the standard build, then go with Top Grade Gunner, and then finish with Grease the Gears. It's all up to you. I mean, I'm just your average potato, so you don't need to take this build as official or anything like that. It's just what I was using in that prior video just now. Um, so there we have it, the Des Moines. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.